it's me again. Today's date is March 26, 2024. It's a Tuesday. And yesterday afternoon, there was a new filing with Nextbridge Hydrocarbons on the SEC Edgar page. And it is an 8A. At this point, many of us are duly familiar with the Form 8, which is any corporate news or corporate action. But what is an 8A? Why was this filed? What does it mean? Well, at first glance, it says 8A in the paper. But then if you read it, it talks about Section 12G. And if you go on the SEC Edgar page for an expert hydrocarbons, indeed, it says 8A 12G. So what is an 8A and what is an 8A 12G? Form 8A is when you file when you want to register your shares with the SEC. Does it mean it's going to trade? No, it just means that you have to register your shares with SEC to do anything. Your securities. As we know, Nextbridge is a privately held company, but it still has to be public reporting due to the amount of shareholders it has. The shares are not TTCC eligible, and thus they can't be on any exchange or market. A lot of people at this point will say, well, MMTLP wasn't supposed to trade, it started trading. That's the case, but MMTLP had a QSEP number and it was DTCC eligible. Nextbridge doesn't have an official registered QSIP number. What you see in your brokers is the contra QSIP. And it's not DTCC eligible, as once again stated here on Form 8A that was just filed. Thus, Nextbridge Hydrocarbons will remain a private company. So why did they file it? Why did they file this 8A if they're going to remain private? Well, they're still public reporting. And we are due for some financials here in the next week. Hey, it's me, an editing bird lady. Because Nextbridge is still a public reporting company, a 12G needs to be filed. This is why we have 8A, 12G in specific. And this is what they were referring to when they cite the 12G subset in this document. Within the next week, today's Tuesday, you know, we might get it Friday, we might get it Monday, April 1st. But we are due for the financials from Nextbridge Hydrocarbons. Everything needs to be updated. T's dotted, I's crossed. It all needs to be updated. And with this being the first step, Nextbridge is emphasizing that it is still a privately held company. And if shares are to be traded on an exchange, they need to be reclassified. What are the next steps then? So again, this was filed because Nextbridge needs to file their reporting statements. As such, this was step one. Next, about a week, hopefully, we will get an updated financial from Nextbridge Hydrocarbons. And with updated financials, I am hoping that we get an update on the S1, which is the sale of the 40 million shares, the potential 40 million share sale to qualified investors through Roth Capital. The next question would be, is the resolution worked out? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if anything's been worked out yet. Or is in the process of being worked out. There's still a couple of different pathways that could happen. We could use the 40 million shares or more. Nextbridge has up to 500 million shares in the treasury. And right now, as according to the 8A, we are at 248 million shares outstanding. I've always calculated the 248 million shares. That's the Nextbridge shareholders, me and you, who had MMTLP, and that includes also the other shareholders who are part of the Ora Grande that I always talked about, such as Dingus Investments, and then McCabe Petroleum. McCabe's other shares that were outside of Torchlight and MMTLP came on board. Prior to the next bridge amalgamate of shares, you know, Torchlight had basically 49% of the revenue interest and 65.5% working interest, and the rest of that working interest, the other 34.5% of the working interest parties came on board. 20% of that revenue interest goes to university lands. This was always stated 
So, you know, calculation wise, to me, this doesn't change. That's just me restating the facts. A kindly reminder. Let's go to a fish tank update because I haven't had one in a while. The Retalia is doing great, but Retalia always does great. The Ludwigia is taking off. You might notice that the plant that was here is gone. The stem of that plant broke at the base. And rather than submerging what was there, I could cut it and submerge it. And I didn't want to submerge that plant because it still had purple flowers and it's still flowering. I planted it in my shrimp tank in the living room. So that's in my shrimp tank in the living room. There's a mangrove tree there and now there's that plant with lots of shrimp. Me and Mr. Burr Lady bought a dozen shrimp last year, Aquashella, the little green shrimp. They're jade green neocardinia shrimp. And they have taken off. And there's lots and lots of shrimp in that tank. The whole tank basically looks like this in a 20 gallon. It's crazy. So that plant got moved into the living room because it was still flowering. But everything else in here is doing well. The red retalia in the back didn't do so great, but it has a rudder it sent in. There's some red retalia doing better up here. This crazy looking fur, whatever it is, is doing good, but I'm not sure how to propagate it yet. The parrot feather, I've had to trim it back a bit. It was getting long and just full of stalks and not really the, the feathery plant. That thing is a magnet for algae. Algae loves to grow on the parrot feather. But again, it's overall, I'm pretty happy with this fish tank. Anthracite, my fish is doing well. This is my second take of this video, the first take. I did it all without the microphone on. It was on mute. Yeah, it was annoying, so I had to reshoot it. And anthracite was all over the place. And I don't know where he is now, but over there is a little Corydora. That's fish tank update, and that's the update today with the 8A, explaining when an 8A is, not only an 8A, but an 8A subset 12G. Once again, Next Bridge is stating that it's a private company. It's not going to trade. It's not DTC eligible. There's no QCIP, and they're keeping with that. If Next Bridge were to trade, they would have to reclassify all the shares as stated in this form. Next step, hopefully we'll see financials next week. Maybe Friday this week, I'm not sure. Surely by next week. After that, we might see an update on the S1. Regardless of what the outcome might be, this 8A seems to be the stepping stone to that. Okay, guys, I will see you soon. Goodbye.